In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to edit um, illustra your Illustrator file and how it will update within After Effects. It's fairly simple, okay? Uh, so let's go and look at our After Effects file. So when I created this animation, I was more or less concerned about you know the movement, the positioning, scaling, and after. I was finished, I looked at these three mice and I said, eh, I could do better, okay? So, I'm going to update this. Now, in order to update, you've got to have everything in the same files, okay? So, if we go over to, and I'm just going to go up to my desktop for a second, and actually this, I don't need window, I don't need that window open. Okay, so here is my file folder for my project, and there's my uh, After Effects file, there's my uh, audio, and here's, here's the work I've done. Now this file I'm not using uh, because it has some drawings and templates and things in it, but this is the file I have, I'm using for uh, After Effects, okay? So, in Illustrator here, I've been making some changes, and I'm gonna just go and hit Save. Okay, now let's see if that has affected that, because it should, and yes, it did. See that? It has actually changed all that. Now, I don't know if the, it's going to work the same way. I might have to adjust where they're located at, and part of the problem is because I have that drawing up there, okay? So, let me go back here, and I'm just going to get rid of this drawing. And hit save again, and I'm going to see if it has a, has adjusted that at all. Yes. Okay. So now everything's back into position. Now the other two mice I want to change also. So let's go back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these two mice. Okay, whoops, make sure I get all of that. And then I'm going to take this mouse and copy him. We'll move him over. I'm holding down my shift and my alt key, so. So, whoops, there we go. Okay, so if you hold down your alt key and you start to move something, it's going to actually copy it. Okay, and if you hold down your shift, it will keep it um, al aligned vertically or horizontally, whichever way you're going. I'm just going to move them over just a little bit more, okay? Let's see what this looks like. And then we're going to do the same thing, and then we're just going to move their tails just a little bit, okay? So they're they're not the same. All right, so we'll move this guy over here, and let's flip his tail. So the easiest way to flip that would be in Illustrator to use this reflection tool, which is actually found up under the rotation tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply hold down my alt key and if you notice there there you know you have crosshairs but when I hold down the alt key that there's a little line that comes out and I'm going to click now because this indicates that it's going to change that and so now see I can flip that this way okay I can copy it but I don't want to so if you need to ever reflect something and make a copy of it you can but I'm just going to click OK and then we're just going to make some minor little changes here to it so let me go and do that. I'm going to bring that down. Um, I'd like to add a little bit more curve to this, so I'm actually going to use my pencil tool for a second here and redraw some of this. So my pencil tool, let's see here if I can find it really quickly here. I I haven't used my pencil tool in a long time in, in here, so... So I got my paintbrush tool, my blob brush tool, which is kind of cool. I could use that. Um, let me see here. The pen tool. Sorry about this. It's been a while. Shape. Oh, there it is. Right there. Pencil tool. Up under the shape tool. Okay, they moved it from the last time I used it. So if I select the tail and then use this tool. And let me see, I think, the, yeah, the keyboard shortcut's in. I should have known that. So it's in, and so what we can do is we can actually come up here 
and redraw this tail a little bit and say it will alter it. So it's not going to look like the same tail. Okay. And let me just alter that just a little bit more here. And maybe I'm going to bring it down now. Okay. We'll bring that tail down a little bit. Maybe over there. Okay. So this tail, we could do the same thing. I'm just going to hit the N key for my pencil and just sort of make some changes to it like this. Okay. Good. Good. Now I've got all these different tails. And let me play around with the positioning a little bit better here. So let me get the selection tool and move this guy over just a little bit. Okay. And we can always make changes again in, I'm going to move him just a little bit. All right. I'm going to hit save, command S. And then let's go over to After Effects and see if it's changed them both. Okay. So now, or change change those two mice. So now this will do this, and I'm and I like that so much better. Okay. So as as long as you uh, manage your files, you can make those easy changes. Um, I'm going to do another tutorial here, in this, so that that will cover how to add layers from Illustrator, and it's a little bit more complicated because they don't make it easy. Okay. So. I'll show you that in another